Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So yeah, not much change today. Yesterday we had a little bit of volatility and the day before. Today it seems like ETH is still moving in this triangle pattern like Bitcoin. I'm primarily watching for a triangle. Okay, we talked about that yesterday. Just because three waves up, three waves down, three waves up, three waves down so far. And maybe we are now in the E wave. Even though, I mean, looking at the proportions, it actually would look better if we had a bit more of a pronounced D wave, but we don't need to. So for me, it's all about, right, maybe the D wave is already finished in the triangle. For anybody who's confused about Elliott wave triangles, first of all, our base case is still that we're looking for another low. One more low below the low of the 17th of August. Then price could be turning around and potentially get into a bullish rally or at least an extended corrective rally. Um, such a triangle, uh, which is currently unfolding, would typically be expected to break to the downside, at least the wave count we have, which is a five wave move, A wave, B wave, C wave, D wave, E wave. Each of the sub waves is a corrective wave structure. Now, the tricky thing with triangles is you never really know when they're finished uh, until they break out. Breakout point here, the real breakout point would be here, 1590, 1590 um, US dollars. That is the low of the 22nd of August. So the breakout point is always the B wave um, top or low, in this case at 1590. Um, that's what we need to see as a break. A break below, in this case, the D wave low is a first piece of evidence that it's breaking down. Now, the challenge here is certainly to determine has the D wave already finished or not. For anybody who's trading this, it probably doesn't, doesn't matter because the focus is on lower overall against the 1723 level. Only if price can break in five waves above 1723, 1724, we would start to assume that a low could be in, that the low has been made on the 17th of August, that we will not get our fifth wave to the downside. That fifth wave to the downside, by the way, should reach 1533 or 1455. But until then, we could be moving in this triangle. Honestly, I would not be surprised if that triangle unfolds over the weekend. I mean, it's Friday already, and it is very much possible that this is just unfolding over the weekend. Because, look, we have at least three waves complete. Looking at it, the D wave might still be unfolding. It might still be unfolding. That's not quite clear yet. The E wave potentially could unfold over the weekend. Um, so yeah, I think we might see this happen over the weekend unless we really get sort of a, a flush today, a rapid move today with a break of the relevant levels that are highlighted. Yeah. At the moment, you can see that the D wave already reached the ideal target. We can do that by measuring the length of the yellow B wave, go to the high of the C wave. And the ideal target here is between 1653 and 1624. It would take a sustained break below that level to assume that the, you know, the triangle is finished. Um, but it's basically in the area where you would expect a turnaround and a rally in the E-wave. Now, there is not really a set length for an E-wave. There are some guidelines like here as well. You know, we talk about the 61.8 to the 38.2 extension of the D-wave. Here you can see that the problem is that the 61.8 extension at 17.04 goes above this swing high then the triangle would be invalid. So it must stay below that. So anything between 1700 and 1678 would count as a target for the E-wave. Now that assumes that the D-wave finished, which we don't know at this stage. Uh, but um, I think at the moment I carefully start to assume, even though I would prefer to see a little bit more of a pronounced and complex D-wave, but we'll see. I mean, either way, the focus is on lower. What we're doing here is trying to understand the microstructure, but the triangle count, I think, seems to be following nicely um, and I don't think there is much to add so you've got the targets for the e-wave you know the breakout point to the upside invalidation point of the triangle officially yeah, is the top of the, e the a wave that would be at 1712 so if price breaks above that level we have an invalidation of the triangle that would not necessarily be bullish it could simply mean that the white wave count wxy is playing out so it really depends on the relevant pivot points that I mentioned, 1724 and down here, 1590. These are the relevant levels to watch. Yeah, that's my update about ETH. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. 
And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.